Hey there fellow adventurers and lovely viewers, welcome to Sunbest Discoveries with Mabranti and Napo on Speed Speed TV, the channel where we explore the world one incredible destination at a time. In today's video, we are embarking on an unforgettable journey to about 47 kilometers away and an hour drive from Ho, the capital of Volta region and lying on the Ghana-Togo border. Welcome. To Ashanti Boita. Hello, Abusiafo. But Sunbest medicated powder. Now, how you form? Hey, I say when I'm in swans, when yes, it's you. Never good enough to talk. I'm a poor, I'm a hot soul. Oh, don't tell me. It's what's now I'm a wire say. A crow. I don't. It's like a career, a yum, a crow, a juniper de abuso. And only ye, sunburst medicated ointment, a bab wow. My possum, my possum, me who know me not to tell me. Who win? Pedro be ye, on ya. Man, it's not how man for now, me out and who win the massy. What possum, what possum complaining in a head so bitcher, put a sunburst hair bar bar. You're from my mama sunburst. Sunburst products, a duchum. We bring your some best products. Our pharmacies, any herbal shops, name. A to phone friend 0551 907 I can't help but feel the excitement bubbling up from the mesmerizing landscapes to the tiring yet worth taking hike. This trip promises to be a roller coaster of unforgettable experience. So, whether you're a fellow traveler seeking inspiration, or a foodie looking to tantalize your taste buds, or simply someone curious about the world you are in for a trip, join me on this adventure and together. We'll uncover the hidden gems, meet incredible people, and immerse ourselves in the rich culture of the world. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a moment of this incredible journey. It's time to set off on this grand adventure. So grab your virtual passport and let's explore our shanty pointer. <laughs> Embarking on a hike through the village of Ashanti Poeta to find waterfall was like signing up for a comedy show with Mother Nature as the star. Armed with enthusiasm, backpacks, camera equipment, and naturally gifted Legadis Benzes, <laughs> we set out on this expedition. As we passed through farmlands, the animals had their opinions about my hiking abilities. Goats stared at me with judgmental eyes wondering why I hadn't considered a more sensible mode of footwear. Chickens clapped disapprovingly as they saw my shoes which were not made for the job I was subjecting it to. Even the trees appeared skeptical, probably thinking, if I could talk, I would tell you this is a bad idea. Then came the forest, which seemed to have a vendetta against us. Trees conspired to block our path and vines played a twisted game of jump rope. I stumbled over roots like a contestant in the clumsiest obstacle course ever created, just like my fellow hikers. The hike to reach the top of the waterfall begins at a troll head nestled within a last vendette. The hike to reach the top of the waterfall begins at a troll head nestled within a lush verdant forest. The path meanders through towering trees, their canopies filtering dappled sunlight. Moss-covered rocks and ferns line the trail, creating a serene and mystical ambience. As you progress, the sound of rushing water grows louder, guiding us towards the cascading beauty ahead. The trail gradually ascends, offering occasional glimpses of the valley below through breaks in the foliage. The air is filled with the earthy scent of damp leaves and the occasional chirping of birds. 
but salvation arrived in the form of streams that trickled down and giggled their way through rocks and fallen trees to joyfully gush down nature's own carefully and strategically woven granite rocks. This hike through the forest to the top of the waterfall is a sensory journey that will watch you with not only the stunning waterfall view but also a deep connection to nature's beauty from the top. They farm like in the place, some of the crops. Okay, you can see uh, banana right yeah. there, plantain. Um, we have coffee, we have cocoa. Coffee, yes. I saw this the first time I'm here in the book of in Ghana now. Yeah, we have coffee, we have cocoa, we have nutmeg. Yeah, not really? Milk. Yes, we have black pepper. The small ones, the small ones. Yes, yeah, yeah. What right. are coming? I saw in here on the road. Yes, yeah, we have Christians as well. And cola, cola. Any cash crop at all, you need to find. You will see. Not just yes. a few out of thousands. Uh, not even you have to come and get a land here. Oh, sure, sure. For that one, it's a must. Because, guys, this yeah. place is so amazing. <laughs> this place is so amazing. Yeah. And if you love hiking, this is where you have to be because the hike here is not easy. The winds are steep, but it's so worth it. To get here and see this amazing place, it's so very much worth it. So, senior citizens, um, what would you tell someone, uh, our people, our fellow Africans who are in the, who are in the diaspora, you know, who are not in Ghana, they are outside, they want to explore new places. What would you tell them about the Chigame waterfall? Okay, uh, the Chigame waterfall, actually, it's a mass visit place. Is it? Yes, <laughs> it's a mass visit place. Because from here, you can just look at it from the down, and then you see that it's a sky balance yes. view. Yeah, this is dangerous. If you don't have the heart, don't come, come to this place. Yes, yes, yes. But when you get to the base, you will see everything clearly from there. Yes, yes. So currently we are at the top. We'll be going to the base and get that amazing and magnificent view. But the view here is crazy. <laughs> yes! Charlie, yes. thanks for bringing me here. All right. Thanks for bringing me yes. here because I really yes. love it. Yes. I really love it. It's so fun, but the we are still here uh, at the Chigama waterfall. We are at the top. Let's go to the base. Let's hide some more and bring you this amazing place in the Volta region. My name is Madran Tianapo. Make sure you are following us on Facebook everywhere. 
on Fred and Fred TV on YouTube. Subscribe and let us get to get to uh, know new places and discover new places. The water is so cool. The water is so cool. Oh my me. All right. I yeah, feel like it's so peaceful here. Tell us, tell us, let's go to the base. <laughs> After the stunning view from the top, we started embarking on the descent from the top of the waterfall to the base. We couldn't help but feel like adventurous explorers armed with nothing but enthusiasm and a personable sense of balance. As we began our descent through the forest, we couldn't help but notice that gravity had decided to kick in with a vengeance. The trail, if you could even call it that, seemed like it was designed by a mischievous African bearded goat with a sense of humor. One minute we are carefully inching down a steep slope and the next we were sliding down on our rear end, desperately clutching at tree roots like they were our lifeline. The valleys below appeared deceptively close but the path seemed determined to take us on a never-ending roller coaster ride of ups and downs. But the forest around us was absolutely stunning. Exotic birds cackled overhead as if they were secretly mocking our aqua descent or they were harmoniously urging us to continue the journey and reach our goal. The trees loomed tall and mysterious, casting splotchy shadows on the path that made it feel like we were in some kind of enchanted forest adventure. Senior citizen, our tour guide, made a funny comment that this forest can easily pass for an evil forest in a Nigerian movie. Finally, after what felt like a hilarious game of charades, we made our way down to the base of the waterfall. We were greeted by a roaring cacophony of water crashing against rocks, and the cave nearby seemed like the perfect place to catch our breath and reflect on our comically chaotic but triumphant descent. It was a sight to behold, shimmering like a natural disco ball under the African sun and yes, we may have slipped on a mossy rock and taken an involuntary plunge into the chilly waters, but hey, we've always believed in fully immersing ourselves in the local culture and nature. We were marveled, although a bit battered and bruised, but with a smile that matched the absurdity of our journey. We couldn't help but chuckle at the thought that Mother Nature sure has a quirky sense of humor, especially when it comes to designing hiking trails in a mountainous forest. In the end, this hike through farmlands and the forest of Ashanti Poeta was not just an adventure, it was a comedy of errors a slapstick masterpiece and a reminder that sometimes the best way to explore nature is with a healthy dose of laughter and humility. As the sun painted the sky with warm hues of blue and white, we embarked on a journey along a smooth tarred road, a ribbon of asphalt winding through nature's lush embrace. The road seemed to stretch endlessly ahead, inviting me to explore its hidden secret. The trusty vehicle we picked from home purred beneath us, its tires gliding effortlessly over the pristine surface, creating a smooth and soothing symphony of rubber meeting the road. The sensation was like dancing on a cloud, its movement a graceful step in harmony with the vehicle's gentle sway. On either side, a verdant paradise unfolded before our eyes, towering trees with emerald leaves from the natural tunnel overhead, their branches creating dappled patterns of light and shadow on the road below. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers and earthy undertones, a fragrant reminder of the vibrant ecosystem that thrived here. 
We couldn't resist allowing the cool breeze to caress our face and tussle our hair like a flock of mountain goats. It carried with it the whispers of rustling leaves and the melodious songs of unseen birds, composing a symphony of nature's own making. We couldn't help but be mesmerized by the contrast between the man-made road and the untouched wilderness that flanked it. It was a reminder of our ability to harmoniously coexist with nature, to create paths that allowed us to explore and appreciate the breathtaking beauty of our planet. With every mile, we felt a profound sense of connection to the world around us. The drive was a journey of discovery, a celebration of the harmony between human engineering and the natural world, and a testimony to the endless beauty that Ashanti Porta has to offer. for but sunburst medicated powder now hold your form hey say when i'm in swans one yes it's still never good now to talk about how i'm a heart so or don't you it's what now i'm a why you say a crow it's like a career a yum a crop a juniper day i was so and only sunburst medicated ointment a bad wow my person my person you know me now to tell me you win petro be here on ya Man, it's not how man who name you are in who we name What possible, what possible complaining you know? Add so much. Cut off some best hair bar bar. You're from me, mama. Some best, some best products. I do them. We bring you some best products. I was pharmacy, any hair bar shops. Man, at the phone friend zero five five four nine zero seven three nine three. FDA, I did just the entry at your home.